Hello guys, it's Proso Play and the third series of our video about temporary blueprints in game Infinite Lagrange. Now it is time for Cruiser. Star Sweeper Ion Cannon Cruiser. Well, it looks beautiful and dangerous one. I hope you see it many times during your battle with pirates. So I have 50 touch points, maximum level. Let's see on figures. First of all, damage is very low, only 10,000. I have spent some touch points to improve main weapon. Hit points is big, armor is medium, speed is fast. Our main problem is limit. You can have only 5 star sweepers in your fleet. And another 5 you can buy at the city. Well, star sweeper is Sankrum 2 Imperium Navy Cruiser. Old toy. Middle row against ships, energy weapon and quick to build. And also very cheap. Well, let's look on his system. Propulsion system. Usual speed improvement by 6 stage point. I think it is useless for us. This ship is fast enough, faster than cast cruiser. Well, you can't improve energy system and command system. So let's go to the anti-aircraft system. I think this is some another bug that this system is not marked by red label. It has some guns. I improve them. Alpha damage is 70 plus 21. And this is some radar against aircrafts. But I don't want to upgrade this system because it is very useless and don't... Uh, you can see the effect on the main screen, so I don't spend point to this system. Let's go to armor system, because temporary ships are vulnerable and you don't want to lose them. So you can improve hit points one time by 6 stage point, physical resistance by 30 twice, and energy resistance by 10% one time. So you have three potential upgrades. Well, let's go to the weapon system. We have only one. Alpha damage is 450 plus 72. But I don't spend all touch point because I don't want to waste all my touch point for Star Sweeper because I have EO Cruiser. Well. What about attack priority? As you can see only big ships and cruiser is the last one. It is bad. Well, we have traditional increase damage, decrease cooldown, some useless stuff and strategy. When the target is cruiser it increases damage by 35%. Well, you can spend 10 points to upgrade something. Now we have two potential builds. First of all, we improve hit points and armor. Let's see. Now it is good cruiser. And then we can either use strategy for 20 touch points and maybe some one other upgrade. Or you can avoid strategy and simple use three different upgrades. For example, I prefer two cooldown decreasing and one damage increasing. So let's see the result. 
so we have not so much damage as we want less than 1000 per one flip point and uh, something about 3000 hit points per one flip point well as you remember we can have only five star sweeper in our fleet well let's see to the eo cruiser and its damage is more than 1000 per one fleet point so star sweeper is not as good as eo cruiser but if you don't have eo cruiser it is good variant for pew pew strategy well, it's ordinary battle against pirates. We have some Star Sweeper, we have some EO Cruiser. Let's see the difference between their firing. Big bad Star Sweeper. You can see blue rays of ion weapon from ion cruiser and you can see the same ray from our star sweeper so technically it is very similar weapon system now let's see from the eyes of enemy cars enemy cars is beaten by energy weapons so its heavy armor is useless and it's vaporized now let's see to heavy armored battle cruiser our guys are firing 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 so this is better version of my pew pew strategy i need more iron destroyers more taurus and maybe some frigates and of course don't forget about streaks and other corvettes and fighters well let's see the report the damage from Star Sweeper and from Eo Cruiser is practically the similar. So, good luck, like, subscribe, thank you for your time.